This is Kuta's simplifying rational exponents. And I'm going to look at numbers 1 through 8. Okay, so number 1, we have n to the 4th to the 3 halves power. Okay, so when we have an exponent and then another exponent, right, we have a n to a power raised to another power. This just means to take n to the 4th and multiply the powers. Okay, so we multiply 4 times 3 over 2. 4 we know is over 1. So this is just n, 4 times 3 is 12, 1 times 2 is 2. And simplify that, we get n, 12 divided by 2 is to the 6th power. All right, let's go on to number 2. We have 27p to the 6th to the 5 thirds power. So we're going to want to distribute our exponent outside the parentheses to inside the parentheses. So we get 27 to the 5 thirds times p to the 6 to the 5 thirds. Okay, and p to the 6 to the 5 thirds is just like we did in number 1. And 27 to the 5 thirds, well, we know that this is going to be 27 to the 5 over 1 times 1 over 3, right, if I split that up. So that's the same as the 1 over 3 is the cube root, right, and the 5 over 1 is to the 5th power. The cube root of 27 is 3, so that's 3 to the 5th power. Okay, and then we can multiply that out. Um, p over here to the 6th to the 5 thirds is p to the 6th times 5 thirds, right? 6 is over 1. That's going to be p to the 30 over 3, and that's going to be times p to the 10, right? 30 over 3 is 10. And 3 to the 5 is just 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Um, you could use your calculator. 3 to the 5 power. Okay, that's 243. All right, and that's simplified. All right, we could have also put this right here into our calculator. 27 to the power of 5 divided by 3. We put that in parentheses, so it takes it to the power of 5 over 3. Otherwise, it would take it to the power of 5 and then divide that by 3. Okay, and we also get 243. So we could just plug this in our calculator to get 243 also. All right, let's do number three. 25b to the 6 to the negative 1.5 power. All right, so this one we can do in a few different ways. One, so let's do it in a few different ways. Okay, so way number one is going to be to distribute the negative 1.5 power first. So we have 25 to the negative 1.5 power and b to the 6 to the negative 1.5 power. And just like we did earlier, we could take 25 and we could just raise it to the negative 1.5 power. You're going to see that we get some decimal. Okay, let's just write that 0 0.008 and b, well, 6 times negative 1.5. Okay, is negative 9. So here we get 0.008b to the negative 9. And that's okay. Even though ideally we won't have um, a decimal number, we'll have just a fractional number. So let's go ahead and do this another way, right? That's way number 1. Um, let's go ahead and we see that the negative exponent is going to be, we can make that positive by making this 1 over 25b to the 6 to the positive 1.5. Now, if we put it from the numerator, right, it starts off in the numerator over 1. Into the denominator, we just change the, the sign of our exponent, okay? Um, and likewise, over here, we know that we have to the negative 9 power, so we can move that to the denominator, too, and make it positive 9. All right. So then now that it's, let's go back to this one and we have the same ideas, 25 to the 1.5 power, b to the 6 to the 1.5 power. We're distributing the exponent, right, into the parentheses terms. 25 to the 1.5 power is 125, so we have 1 over 125, and b to the 6 to the 1.5 power is going to be 
6 times 1.5, so that's b to the 9. And right here we have 0 0.008. Well, if you divide 1 divided by 1.5, that's going to be the 0 0.008. So this, these are equivalent, like this one and this one, right? Same. And this is our answer. Okay, let's go on to number four. Number four, similarly, um, we have 64m to the fourth to the three halves power. So we distribute this power to every term inside, so we get 64 to the three halves times m to the four to the three halves, right? 64 to the three halves, we could put in our calculator. Or we could take the square root of 64 and then cube it, right? Because this 2 will make it square root, and the 3 will cube it. Um, or we could just put in our calculator like this. And we get 512. And m to the power of 4 times 3. Over, so this is 4 over 1. So we multiply it across. Or we could cross cancel and um, simplify it already. But... 4 times 3 is 12, divided by 2 is 6. Okay, so this is just 512 m to the 6th power. All right, let's go on to number 5. Number 5 is a to the 8th to the 3 halves power. Right, we know immediately that's just a to the 8 times 3 halves. 8 is over 1. We can even simplify this, make this a 1 and a 4, right? because 8 divided by 2 is 4, or 8 divided by 2 is 4, 2 divided by 2 is 1. And so that's equal to a to what, 4 times 3, the 12 power. If you do that anyway, you can multiply 8 times 3. You could have done it and got 24 over 2, and that's still equal to a to the 12. All right, number 6, we have 9r to the 4 to the 0.5 power. So again, we distribute that 0.5 power, and 9 to the 0.5, we could go ahead and put it in our calculator. That's 3. R to the 4, so 4 times 0.5 is 2. Okay, so there we go. Also note that 0 0.5 equals to 1 half. So we could have done this with 1 half as well. All right. Number seven. Seven, we have 81. We want to distribute the power to the 1.25 power and x to the 12 to the 1.25 power. Again, 1.25 is equal to 1 plus 1 quarter, right? And we can find a common denominator and make that 5 over 4. Or we can use decimals. 81 to the 1.25 power is equal to 243 x we want to multiply 12 times 1.25 and we get 15 okay so this one is 243 x to the 15th power and finally we have number 8 216 r to the 9th to the 1 3rd again we Distribute this every time to every term. So 216 to the 1 third times r to the 9th to the 1 third. All right. So 216 to the 1 third. Let me plug it in here. 216 to the 1 third power. It's just the cube root of 216. And that's 6. That means 6 times 6 times 6 is equal to 216. r to the 9th. So the one third means we multiply nine times one, three, one over three, and that's just nine over one times one over three is going to be three. All right, so this is the end of Kuta simplifying rational exponents one through eight.